trash can fire is fired by a candle, and there are buckets from the store. So the back of the building, the back of the uh, back corner behind the desk. We're going to watch this fire continue to grow. We got a small fire in the trash can. Obviously this student here did not take out the trash. Smoke detectors going off. Nine seconds. Time to get out of the building. Get out quick. No time to screw around trying to get anything else out of your room. Fire's all the way across the ceiling. 20 seconds. Fire's going to continue to grow with intensity. You're going to actually see the fire right across the ceiling and continue to roll and heat the rest of the room up. I was telling you about. It really just bad for your hair, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, the active fire in that back corner behind the uh, chair. It's working its way over to the bed right now. It's getting a little warm for me. I don't want to be here. We're only one minute into the fire. We're starting to get some thick black smoke forming. Notice our tapestries, how quick they lit up. They're, they're burnt right to the crisp right now. Fire's continuing to develop. We've got thick black smoke forming at the ceiling level. The smoke detector stopped throwing off because it's melted. I'm going to back away because it's getting a little warm for me. One minute, 26 seconds into the fire. You can see the black smoke starting to roll out of the room. Keep an eye on that. It's going to continue to grow and develop. Clinton Fire Department has about a three minute response time up to the campus. They're still getting in the trucks and heading up the hill right now. If you're on the third floor or the fourth floor of one of these dorms, it's going to take them a little while to get to you. Meanwhile, the fire is continuing to grow. It's time to get out of the building. No time for anything else. See the fire rolling across the ceiling? It's starting to self-heat everything on the bed. Keep an eye on those little cardboard containers on the bed. In a minute, they're going to, go, they're going to light up all by themselves. Two minutes into the fire. No time to screw around. Time to get out of the building. See that flaming tapestry over on the right, dropping all the nice plastic material on your bed? That's why I tell you it's not a good idea to have those kicking around in your room. See the fire making its way across the bed? All this heat and smoke is going somewhere else. We've got almost total room and at this point. The fire's going to continue to grow. Making its way across the bed right now, 2 minutes 40 seconds. Clinton has left the firehouse, they're almost here. We'll be here in just a minute. Thick black smoke, is that going to be good to breathe down the top? Fires continue to develop, we got a lot more thick black smoke, the bed is fully involved now. If you were in that room without protective equipment, you wouldn't be around to talk about it. Even a firefighter going in there without a hose is going to have a really tough time. Gets into the fire. Fire department's on the scene. They're hooking up to the fire hydrant. They're bringing hose up to the floor. It's going to be another minute or so before they get there. still continuing to develop in this room. See the actual fire column coming out of the room? It's going down the hallway. That's why we always tell you, close your door if you leave your room. Don't give it any oxygen to breathe. Back there, I imagine now, huh? 
You're talking over 1,400 degrees floor to ceiling. You're not going to be able to survive that. Okay, 4 minutes 30 seconds. I think the fire department just made its way down the hallway. We're working towards the room right now. I'm going to give them a little bit more time to get to the room. Five minutes, we'll have the fire department. They've made their way to their room. They're going to go in and put it out. Watch out for the steam that comes out of here. As you can see, in five minutes, actually less than five minutes, that room was totally destroyed by fire. Give the fire department a few minutes to get the fire put out, and then we'll take down the tape once it's all the way out, and you can come up closer and take a look at what's left. Just a few minutes as soon as they get the fire completely out, we'll take down the tape line. You're more than welcome to come up at that point and take a look through and see what's left of this room. What the stupid room looks like after the pack. So, you got another couple of minutes, just hang out for just a minute, and we'll have you up here just to check it out.